So, we are officially in Bedfordshire, everybody. We've decided to come to a place called Pegston. Never heard of it before, never been here before. But we settled on Pegston, purely based on this walk that we're on at the moment. It looked really nice and I found kind of like a lay-by just up the road where we could park. And yeah, this is kind of where we've chosen. But another thing that is quite interesting about staying in Bedfordshire, not really anything to do with Bedfordshire, but we have a storm on the way called Storm Eunice or something. And apparently it's supposed to absolutely batter the country with like 100 mile an hour winds and it's gonna kind of go a bit crazy. I think here, it's kind of an amber weather warning. Whereas I think down in Cornwall to the Southwest, that's kind of where it's all coming from. And that's kind of like red warning, stay inside kind of thing. So it might get a bit windy, although I don't think that's gonna be until tomorrow morning. So when we're up the hill. yeah, so perhaps when we're walking up the hill, there's gonna be like some wind about. Maybe we shouldn't do that then. Well, I think we'd be safe going up a hill. There's no like trees or anything, is there? <laughs> but stay tuned for a windy walk tomorrow. Quick, anyone could pull in, could you walk yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We were parked further up the road and we were on like a hill like that. Whereas at the bottom it's a bit flatter. So I saw that a car had gone and I was like, quick, move the van down the hill. <laughs> so now we're on a slightly flatter spot. But this is our first ever off-grid trip in the van. Well, tell a lie, we did stay in the van two nights ago because we came up to Essex slept in the van and then went straight to Becky's work in the morning. But this is our first kind of like trip away. We're gonna cook dinner in the van, off grid, sleep in it, use the toilet, just like everything for the very first time. Not only is it free, doesn't cost a penny, but you can also park places like right next to that hill, next to a walk, just anywhere really. What do you think Digby? Are you excited? Are you excited? Sleep in the van? Excited? All right, everyone, dinner is finished. We've used 66.9 amp hours since we arrived here, which is fine because we have 300 of them. So plenty of power left, enough for at least two more days, I reckon, if not three, depending on how conservative you are with power. If we had like tortillas instead of pasta, then you're saving yourself a bit of power. So yeah, absolutely loads. I'm gonna dig into my lovely van pasta and then to compliment it, those who know, know garlic alioli. Aioli, aioli alioli, garlic mayo, same thing. Aioli. Aioli. What's alioli then? Or is it the same thing, just spelled different? I swear the other one's called alioli, and this is called aioli. 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 What is it, is it aioli, alioli, or aioli? It's definitely not alioli, alioli. Yeah, but the other one in the pots is ali, I'm sure it is. Maybe I'm wrong. It's really good, regardless, so yeah, a few spoons of that. <laughs> well, we survived the night, nobody knocking on the door or anything like that, so successful, I would say. Actually slept pretty well. I feel like I'm a bit slobbery when I eat, especially yeah. when it's cereal. But that is the forecast for this morning. <laughs> like, 70 mile an hour winds and rain. These waterproofs are literally made for like, coastal storms. <laughs> Trusty hat. Ow, let's punch the light. <laughs> I've got a problem with punching the ceiling. Unfortunately, I don't have my rain hat, but I've got a hood. It couldn't be taking longer if you tried. Why are you doing that? Huh? Why are you doing I'm that? I'm getting ready. You're taking forever. It's not even raining. It will be. It's not right now, it though. It will be. I don't know how much this camera has, battery wise. 
So we're ninety percent. That's all right. All right, guys, we're going to swap cameras. See you outside, and we'll see you on the hill. I've got like tears like streaming down my face. Oh. Look at all the birds. They're going mad. We wanted to walk up to this peak over there, like the top of the hill, like along this ridge. But it's just gonna be so windy. I just think it'd be a bad idea, so we're just strolling along this one. Oh. I think the storm's on its way. I think it's here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it's here. It's really starting to blow now and the rain's picked up. We're at the bottom of like a hill as well. So I think that we're more protected here than we were on top of the hill. But it's really starting to coming now we keep getting like gusts of wind and the van's just like shaking around i think we're safe there we've moved from our old spot so there were a couple of big trees back there and we were a little bit worried that maybe the tree might blow over we're trying to decide what to do as well because all oh, the heaters just come back on um we obviously don't want to drive home because the wind is really bad and we think that's probably quite dangerous to do that i mean there's no real rush to go home the only thing i'm worried about is that we only have a small amount of water left so we've got like enough to perhaps cook some pasta but Becky needs to wash up the pasta pan because it's got porridge in it so if we wash the pan then we might not have enough water for pasta and to like drink and everything as well so yeah we're, we're not really too sure what we're gonna do as always though I'll give you guys a couple of fun facts about Bedfordshire as we're here sitting in a store not really doing much <laughs> this is quite a funny one because this is one that I already knew and it's that Bedfordshire is just used as like a humorous way to talk about going to bed so quite often you'll hear people say I'm going off to Bedfordshire as a way to say and like I'm going to bed apparently that's been going around since the 16th century so yeah apparently in Luton they used to make lots of hats so it's famous for hat making and the football club in Luton are called the Hatters for that reason at 8.30 a.m. wind was generating 42% of UK energy according to the national grid oh my god there's a wind farm down the road from here and I was wondering if like the wind turbines were going like the clappers. <laughs> Why do people say that, going like the clappers? Apparently Bedfordshire is where the concept of afternoon tea was born. That's an interesting one. Half of Bedfordshire's population live in either Bedford or Luton. So that means that there's lots of quiet places to enjoy during your trip. Like Pegston, there's like nobody here. I think this is still classified as like a hamlet or something. The other thing as well about Pegston is that it's surrounded by Hertfordshire. So even if we go up the main road, either way, we'll go into Hertfordshire, which is kind of lucky really, because I was getting a bit worried that we weren't actually going to be staying in Bedfordshire, a bit like what we did in Berkshire at Henley-on-Thames, and then we'd end up having to go back again because we made a mistake and didn't get it right. But we are in Bedfordshire, Pegston is in Bedfordshire. It's just kind of like encirculated by Hertfordshire. Encirculated. Is that a word? Encir encir encircles a word. Encircled. Encirculated. Oh. I think the wind's died down a little bit and the sun's come out. So I think we might be on the tail end of the storm. It's not raining. And yeah, it's not raining. It wasn't really too bad, a bit blustery, but I think it was worse in other areas of England. So I think maybe we got away with that. I hope you've enjoyed our video of Bedfordshire anyway. If you are passing by, then Pegston is a lovely place to come and stop. Really nice walk on the hill. I'm sure in the middle of summer it would be absolutely amazing up there. Lovely views. 
really good we we'll give it a thumbs up and if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up as well but until the next one guys safe drive stay alive have a lovely day try not to do anything and we'll see you guys next time